They fled a natural disaster only to barely escape with their lives on a Tennessee highway. A couple that evacuated Irma wound up trapped as their home away from home burned down right around them. News Channel 5's John Quill Newland spoke with the couple about their tragic journey. And John Quill, these guys did what they're supposed to do, right? That's right. Nancy and Dennis Ferguson know what to do when the hurricane season approaches. They leave their small town of Umatilla, Florida. Now this year, however, their home didn't fare so well, but after today's events, their home's damage is the least of their worries. Sitting in the dining hall of Nashville Fire Department Station 30 is not where Nancy and Dennis Ferguson thought they'd be today. Sorry that you guys had to go through this. But at this moment, they have nowhere else to go. But they know one thing. We have to get back home. But ask Dennis how they plan to do that. At the moment, we don't have a clue. Yeah. Three days before Irma hit Florida, the Fergusons packed their RV, which Nancy called the Beast, and they headed north to stay with family in Chicago. While there, they got the news a tornado hit their town. Trees were on top of their home and vehicle. That was the last time I got to talk to my mother because there hasn't been power in Umatilla since. Their plan today was to head home and salvage what they could. They were on I-24 and moving in slow traffic. We was just sitting there talking and just, and that was it. They say a massive truck hit them from behind. The motorcycle they were pulling was slammed into the back of their RV. There was debris flying forward and then we instantly smelled fire. The Fergusons were trapped inside their burning motorhome. Dennis worked on the door to free them. Pushed it open far enough to where we could crawl down through a hole. And we took off running because we were on fire. The, the trailer, the, our motorhome, everything was on fire. Thankfully, they were not injured but now they've lost everything. It's gone, <laughs> it's gone. The memories are there, but it's all gone. The kindness of strangers has given them strength. Only thing I know, he said everybody called him rowdy. He gave me his shoes. He took them off his feet and gave me his shoes. <laughs> Thank you. They may not have anything but the clothes on their backs, but they must move forward. Don't do no good to give up. So. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, Nancy also lost her wedding rings in that fire. Now, the National Fire Department is helping them to house them as the American Red Cross is finding temporary housing for them. The two agencies have also set up a GoFundMe account. Of course, we put a link on our website if you'd like to help. Just go to newschannel5.com. In the newsroom, I'm John Quill Newland, News Channel 5. John Quill.